seen earlier I got these holes drilled out and uh, what I did is I took the welder and I deck welded these together and drilled them all at one time so that they would be pretty straight and then uh, took them apart you know and kind of ground them down a little bit and put a bevel on there uh, for those of you that don't know when you're welding something like this you need to put a bevel in other words, you take your grinder and you, you know, grind a, an angle off of that. And that way when you weld it, you can get your weld to penetrate down here in the middle. And if you don't do that and you weld, you're just going to do a little surface weld. And it's not going to be strong. So, you know, if it's a real thin piece of metal, you know, you can get away with not not beveling it but on a thick piece you need to bevel it before you weld it so anyway i got these and we got these holes drilled and what we're going to use uh to go through there okay so you know it'll pivot is some sucker rod that i had laying around and it is going to be plenty stout believe me so, let's see, that sucker rod, I'll just call it three-quarter. Um, and I did make these holes a little bit loose, and I did that for a reason. If I, if I made those real tight, what could happen is if this thing was setting up out in, you know, out in the weather, uh, that would get seized up but with it being loose like that you know yeah I'll oil it every now and then or put a little grease on it but it ain't going nowhere I'll be dead and gone before that wears out so anyway what we doing um, See, that one will go there, that one will go there, okay, like that, and then we'll, we'll cut that off and, and drill it and, you know, put an arc lip in there that you can just take apart, so when you want to remove this, if you need to, you just pull two pins, this whole thing will come off, and we will weld those onto this. 
second eighth. So these will lay right in there like that. Okay, so we'll weld these up and then this will be able to pivot. And we've got to we've got to start building the mechanism that's gonna lift this. So uh, we may tack weld these on there just a little bit to, to hold everything together. And then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start, you know, measuring and cutting out the pieces that'll go up here and we'll get those tack welded on so we can actually demonstrate this. So we'll be back. Alrighty, folks. So I got these laid out, uh, got them pretty straight. And uh, I'll get these all tack welded up and then we will start on these other ones. folks well we don't have enough daylight in the day but I got most of it together uh, we'll have to do one more video and, uh, and get this thing mounted on there uh, I've got a little bit more welding here to do but I uh, wanted y'all to see how this thing is going to work so this will have a lever or it'll have a motor on it uh, you know you could put whatever on there manually or a DC motor and uh, whenever this is rotated either way, uh, this thing is going to go up or down. That's basically how it's going to work. And uh, we'll be back on it tomorrow. See y'all later. Hello folks, well it is the next day and we are back. So uh, what we got here is we've got a uh, threaded rod that was uh, well it came out of a dolly for a you know a trailer dolly. Uh, it's got that left-handed thread and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make the lift where we can adjust how high or how low we want it to go. Uh, it's a little bit more involved than that, but uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So basically though, uh, this, this top edge up here, this is gonna do the lifting. And so all the weight of whatever you got on that back of that lawnmower is going to be down here on this point. So what I've did is, okay, I've made a couple little pieces, all right, and I've got a bearing in there, and so it's a tapered bearing, and I've got that in there. So you know when you get all that weight pulling down, 
you're going to want to be able to turn this rod. And that's going to make it a lot easier to do that. So, um, I've got a couple other little pieces i got to fab up and get them welded on there. Um, I've got those over here. And like all the other brackets, you know, I, I jack welded them together and got my hole drilled. And basically, uh, these... Okay, so these, you know, one is set right over there, another one is set right over there, and then I'll be able to put a bolt through that, and um, that will go down to the uh, the lower part of the unit, and uh, this way it'll be able to swivel, and uh, that's what this is also. This is going to be a way for it to swivel. I'll show you all all of this here in a minute. All right, folks. We are a little bit further along. All right. So, like I was saying earlier, all the weight of this, okay, pulling down is going to be a lot. So, we've got a, a tapered bearing in here okay so that weight will be pulling this and uh, it'll be on a bearing so it'll make it a lot easier to adjust this uh, screw here and anyway luckily there was already a hole drilled in this so that worked out real good for me And we can put a bolt. And, you know, we could put a pin. But for right now, for mocking it up, we're going to do a bolt. All right, so that goes through there. <clears throat> now, up here. Uh, I think before we add this, just laying here in the, you know, in the center. But now it's still not welded. All I've done is move it over. And I, I kind of sort of had to go ahead and build this so I would know where that needed to be. And like I said, none of this has been welded up. Okay, it's just laying there together. But anyway, um, let's see if I can get that together. So that will go through there. Okay. And that, that's going to allow this to rotate. And then that'll go on to there. And then, of course, now the whole thing is over that way. And I didn't want to have to move it yet to demo it. Because I'm going to lay it out on the workbench and get everything straight. And then I'm going to weld it up. So no need, no need me moving it twice. But for, for a demo right now, it'll do. I think you can see where we're going. So now, okay, we got our throw right here. Okay, so this thing's going to do like that when you turn this lever. If you turn it that way, this is going to go up. If you turn it the other way, it's going to go down. 
Um, because I added this, it's not going to be able to just sit there and go in a circle like we had talked about before. But that's okay because it's worth getting rid of that in order to have this adjustment. So what we're getting at here is, is basically when you're using this, and say you've got a rake or something back here, I'll be able to, to use the lever, okay? There'll be a, a 24 inch lever on this and I'll be able to lever this thing up or down, okay, when I need to. But maybe I don't want it to go all the way down or all the way up depending on what I'm doing and that's the reason in this because I can set uh, where I want it to be with this and then just use this lever to to raise it up and down You know without having to reach back here and actually, you know turn this in order To to raise the thing up and down. I don't want to have to do that all the time So, you know that is going to be how we, we lift the load and we lower the load You know say you're going over something you want to raise it up you know you want and then you want to drop it back down well you don't want to have to use this every time <clears throat> you just want to grab the lever and lift it and lower it and then you know if i want a blade or a rake or something to just barely rake across the ground now i can set you know how deep or how high i go with this so, anyway okay folks i got this thing kind of mocked up here none of this is welded okay and I believe the other day this was over there. Well, in order to add this adjustment, I had to move things over. And I think I think it'll be good. Um, now you've got a bearing down in here, okay, a tapered bearing. So, uh, you know, obviously when this goes down, this bearing is going to lift up and it's going to ride up against this all the time. It's never going to be down here unless you just physically lift this thing up, but. Um, so all your weight is setting on a tapered bearing is what I'm getting at. So that's going to help to make this a lot easier to turn. And, uh, we've got, we've got that, uh, shaft where the lever is going to go. So we'll still have a manual lever over here and it comes through here and I will drill and tap this for a grease cert. So we'll be able to pack this full of grease and we'll have grease cert right there. And that's greased you know it'll be easy just to to lift that up put some grease in it drop it back down and when you know you lower the load it's like it needs to be anyway i'm going to get all this laid out uh correctly because you know obviously you can see that this is leaning over i just need to move this whole thing over and then get it tack welded and then we can demonstrate it see you all in a minute folks it's getting late and i've got to call her today she came out and said it's dinner time so i gotta go but i wanted to demo this uh obviously we're gonna do one more video so you'll have a lever over here uh actually this will be down there when when it gets put on the mower but for now i just jack welded it over here so anyway, you'll be able to raise and lower this 
with the lever. Okay. You know, pretty simple. You got down and up. But the neat thing is by having this, now obviously you can raise and lower it using this. But really what you do with this is, you know, you create a stop with this. So if you want something to only go so low or so high, you can, you can do that with this. Okay. And then as you're going along, you know, say you're dragging your rake and you want to lift up the rake to dump it. Well, you don't have to sit here and mess with this. You just, you know, you just take this and go up or down and then you can just throw it right back, back down and you drive on, you know? And uh, if you got something else, a different implement on there and you need this to be up a little higher when, when this is in the down position, but you want that to come up a little bit, you know, you can just dolly this up and then you just leave it wherever it needs to be as you use it. So, uh, anyway, that's basically it. Uh, there is a couple of little things I am going to do. We'll get into that later. And uh, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video and y'all come back. Bye.